but this is my hair you can see how long it is yeah oops. oh my god i just slid <laughs> Hi, so I'm just going to be filming my hair care routine or just pretty much what I do with my hair. My hair has grown significantly within the last year. I'll just be going into detail about my hair journey. My hair is straight right now because I did film a video on my soft glam. I'll go into detail about like my past hair experiences, the colors I've done. I'll just go right into right now what I do with my hair. Because my hair is curly, I try my best to use products that are going to nourish my curls. So I'm really, really loving, I just finished these, I'm going to order more, is the Pacifica Pineapple Curls. So this is the shampoo and conditioner. Then there's the uh, Curl Nourishing Mask. So they both are silicone free, vegan, cruelty free. I'm in the Pacifica. If you're familiar with the brand, you know that their ingredients are trustworthy and good. I use that for pretty much every day like for my curls. I don't really do much with my curls, although I am trying to turn a new leaf with that. My cousin has really curly hair, so she's helping me out how to uh, use a diffuser and all that. But I think once I get better at that, I'll do like a curly hair routine but I'm not there yet I'm not there yet because my hair used to be pinned straight actually my hair used to be like this growing up and then all of a sudden now it like coils I feel like if you stick to something all the time just use the same products every day my hair gets used to them so I have to constantly like switch out products so I'll use the Maui coconut milk shampoo and conditioner this is the ones for dry hair with curly hair you just want moisture like put in a lot of moisture to like beat the frizz. This is totally like optional. I rotate a third shampoo and conditioner. It might be too much, but it's working. I get a lot of comments on my hair and this is what I'm doing. And I'm, if it's wrong, call me out in the comments, but if, I don't know, just try it out yourself. But my hair is medium. It's not too thick and not too thin. I also use the Hope and Repair by Love, Beauty, and Planet. It's the shampoo and conditioner. It's ylang ylang and coconut oil, Hope and Repair. It just works for me. I am, disclaimer, the shampoo does have sulfate in it. So it is gonna give you that deep plane. So I only use the shampoo at least like once every two weeks. The conditioner is really good Amazing. They're both good It's just some people are just so against sulfates But sometimes you really need that deep clean that sulfates give you which is why I don't mind using the shampoo I also use the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Shampoo and the conditioner This is the rotation that I have right now going on and it's working. It's working on my hair Like I said, my hair has grown really long really healthy. I think it's like the healthiest it's been since like high school and I haven't colored it in a really long time either It is all like my natural hair color. I used to dye it black. I used to be obsessed with like having it like pitch black I know it kind of looks pitch black right now But I liked it like black 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 with that blue kind of hue and like under I've done a bunch of colors I've done red. I've done ombre. I've done blonde. I've done like magenta my poor hair and when I did red I did red for like so long like I did it for like almost two years I like just fried my hair like it took my hair so long to recover from that I do it and I bleach my hair every two weeks for just like bleach the my roots so that the red would show for serums the Gizu one I've been giving it a chance lately and it's actually been helping my hair I think when I first got it I had such high expectations it didn't give me like that wow factor it's something that you have to use consistently so that you could see the results I also used a way this is a very light serum I use this for the ends for after I do my hair or even when I have my hair curly I just spray some on these both smell so good I know they're like both hyped products but I'm so happy I started giving this chance and like look the bottles like pretty much almost gone for heat protectants I use these two the OG Tresemme one one. I mean it just works for me and if you could recommend me other thermal heat protectants like just let me know down below <laughs> And I've been using this John Frieda one this thermal protector for a while now I think about like two or three years. I had ombre hair I had to find something that wouldn't oxidize my hair or make my hair red as a thermal protectant and it worked So I usually use a curling wand or I'll use my strainer to curl my hair What I use is the way has spray I'll just spray some on my hands and then just like scrunch put it into my hair for like the curls that's all I use. I don't really use hairspray. I feel like hairspray weighs down my hair. If there is a hairspray out there you recommend, let me know. But usually when I do put hairspray in my hair, it like drags my hair down and I lose my style. Now for treatments. It's pretty simple. 
I just use this. This is a one minute mask, hair mask, and the ingredients are really good as well. I actually learned a lot from like Penny's channel. Her name is Penny Tovar. I will link her in the description bar down below. She's amazing when it comes to like clean uh, products for your hair, especially for people with curly hair. Like I'm still researching, I'm still going through this process of like, of, like learning my own hair, teaching myself and like researching what do's and don'ts of like curly hair. And I know a big don't is applying heat. <laughs> for my scalp, because I'm trying to get my hair Hair to grow long I really want to get my hair to grow long and then add more layers that's the goal but right now I'm just like kind of letting it be because I also like don't think I'll be styling my hair a lot like during school to be honest so I'm just letting it be for now and then going to my hairdresser who is the best hairdresser in Toronto hands down I will actually insert a, a clip of me her giving me a blowjob cutting my hair and stuff This girl's just amazing and I'll put down in the description box where she's located and I see her at least like every three to six months to trim my ends. So I've just gone through so many hairdressers. It's like an energy exchange. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hair has been the best in her hands. Oh my god, I even got bonds, like a uh, hair bond. Um good hairdresser and also just treatments on your scalp, right? Because like that's where your hair is growing from. So I use castor oil. I'll mix this with the strong root this one as well the strong root the this is a uh, red pimento red pimento and i just like rub this on my scalp and i also use the multi peptide serum from the ordinary and this just makes sense to me like if peptide is like a chain of proteins like what makes a protein is peptide so if your hair is protein and adding protein i think it just makes sense to me like to build, help build that protein Helping build that protein means longer hair. So it just makes sense to me scientifically. And then I use, so I use these two together, rub my hair. And another thing is when you are doing these treatments, apply heat, put a cotton t-shirt, wrap it up in like a turban, like, like a cotton t-shirt uh, and do that. And here's another thing that's really helped me out throughout the years is wooden combs. It's 100% bamboo. You could even use one that's like bone, especially when your hair is wet. Everyone knows it's almost impossible not to brush it off to break your hair when it's wet, but you still have to comb it, especially with someone with curly hair. Plastic, your hair will actually get caught onto it. So yeah, you can just see how long my hair is already. Ay. Another brush that I've also been using is the, the Mason Pearson brush. This gives my hair so much volume. This brush just makes my hair so soft. I know there's a lot of independent variables as to what really helped with my hair growth but I think all of these cohesively have helped my hair grow a lot even just like getting adequate sleep I go hard at school and I go hard at the hospital and like my job I pick sleep now over you know going out or stuff and that's actually another variable that's helped with making my hair grow and then the one last thing also thing is to not use a towel when you come out of the shower I usually just use like a cotton t-shirt instead of a towel and that's another thing that's reduced the frizz as well for my hair so far that's all i do for my hair if you have any other recommendations just let me know down in the comment bar i'm so open to like new products so if there's even a place where i could find these specific products in toronto please let me know down below this is what i do to keep my hair healthy and to help my hair grow and yeah that's it this is it thanks for watching